I'm that bitch. Yeah. Been that bitch, still that bitch. Uh, Will forever be that bitch. Forever be that bitch. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm the hood, Mona Lisa, break a nigga in the piece. Yeah, part 10. Alright. Don't mind me. Hey, I told y'all I ain't really like it, but whatever. We in the quarantine, so gotta do what it is. Um, it's Jig and Jet. Mm. Skirt. <laughs> I'm already fucking up. All right, hold on, pause. Take two. And action. Hey, y'all. It's Jig and Lay. Today we talking about breastfeeding, and, and I'm going to show y'all some of the products that I use and the two breast pumps that I have because I feel like they work wonders so right now of course I'm feeding Malaysia because she's hungry once again and she always eating and that's just that like she always eating it's never time she's not eating so first I'm gonna start off with saying breastfeeding is not the easiest thing so if it don't work out for you if you that don't mean you're a bad mom like I just feel like, why not get the free milk while I can produce it? Like, I might as well. Milk ain't cheap. Um, we bought her one infant of milk because I wanted to have a drink. And every time I have a drink, I just give her formula. But we bought her one infant of milk. And the infant milk is just, it's high. It's real high. Like, it's too high. It's like $30. I'm not paying $30 for milk when I got free calves right here. Like, I'm not doing it. So, oh, I forgot to show you. I got to get one more thing. I had everything set up. All right, I'm back. So, I told y'all I'm not ed editing nothing because we're not doing all that. We're going to show what's going on over here. So, um, what part was on? Oh, oh, I'm about to show y'all the products that I use first, and then I'm going to get into the breast pumps. But like I was saying, don't think because you can't breastfeed, you know, you're not a good mom. Because it's not for everybody. I just feel, I just think it's the best choice for me because one, it's free milk. And two, I, it's a better connection with me and her. Um, sometimes I do get tired of breastfeeding only because I be sleepy. But most of the time I used to be prepared. Like I used to have the milk pump. I used to have bottles and a refrigerator ready i don't know what's up with me the last two weeks i think the quarantine messing my head up and i just haven't been pumping so today i'm gonna try to start pumping again because it was so much easier to just grab a bottle i mean it's cool to do this too but i don't really like nursing too much so um i try to just nurse her when i have to or you know when there's no milk available so here we go all right first we're going to talk about the things that help you produce breast milk oatmeal okay i don't know if this is the right oatmeal but oatmeal is oatmeal and oatmeal is good you can put some fruits up in there and just you know spruce it up but oatmeal helps you produce a lot of milk um this tea that i was drinking is called mother's milk but um on here it just says nursing mom uh herbal tea basically my mom, she was just putting honey in it. We ain't really put sugar in it, but this helped you produce milk too. Um, I don't really know. I ain't gonna sit here and lie. I don't really know too much about the ingredients. I just got it cause it said nursing mom and I was just trying different things to see what would help me with my milk. Um, this is another drink that has similar, um, similar ingredients to the um the nursing mom tea and it helps promote breast milk um but it's called bright flavor breastfeed and supplement drink is by upspring and i got it from target um it came with a few it came with a few packets in here it's enough in here for you to use but you can drink it hot or cold as well as the nursing mom i got this one from walmart so Sorry, I'm trying to reach over so y'all can see, but I'm trying to feed the baby and not suffocate her either. Um, next. Oh, if you're going to drink, get these. Hmm, worry-free. You want to be a worry-free mommy? Get these because 
I was scared on my birthday. I was I was turned on my birthday, but I was scared because I'm like, oh my God, did my baby got enough milk? I don't think I pumped that much. I don't think I had that much milk. I was just, I was tripping. But I had um, these, these are basically just alcohol strips and it tests to see if you have um, alcohol in your milk and you just open the pack and you like leak a little bit of the milk onto the strip. If it turns brown, then don't get that baby that milk because the baby's gonna be drunk. So that's that. All right, now we're gonna talk about like um, your bras and stuff. You need to wear a bra because one, if you don't wear a bra, you're gonna be leaking all over the place. I'm gonna put some pictures in here of like the milk that I produce as well as um, like times I've been leaked all over my bed because I thought it was a joke no you need to put a bra on and you also need to wear the any type of breast pad this is a Medela nursing pad and basically you just take it out the pack like this open it and then do it in half and then you just put it in inside your bra so that way if you're leaking it'll collect all the milk I seen that they had some cups that supposed to collect the milk but I don't really know how they work and I didn't order them yet so I'm not even really to ready to talk about them but anyway um those are really good because one who wants their shirt to be all wet and soiled from breast milk then um another product that I use is Lansano um nipple cream because Malaysia make my nipples raw like they be hurting it just be feeling like I don't know it'd be friction against the bra it just don't be feeling comfortable and I just feel like when you put the cream on it make it feel so much better and, and even when she drinking it makes it feel better but this is the cream right here then um, nipple shields my left nipple is inverted so it was kind of hard to feed her out that one this is obviously her favorite side but um you know I think it's you know best if you do have a nipple shield because one it it feels better honestly and you really can't feel it but then again they say that the saliva from the baby keep your body regenerating milk so i don't know how the saliva get through the shield so that's why i just don't use them just put the cream on and the cream feel better then let's get into the actual um breast pumps that i have so i have a spectra breast pump i don't i don't know the version but this is the breast pump that i got from the hospital um and it's pretty nice it's a nice one so basically all you do is you connect the bottles and the funnels to um the suction tube and then you place it on your breast and i mean you those funnels you might have to change the size because I had to get a bigger funnel not because I had bigger breasts but like I don't know it's like my nipple was like stuck in the tunnel or something it was just it was it ain't feel good so just get a bigger one if you need one they come in bigger and smaller sizes but if it feel uncomfortable that means you need another one so I ordered some off Amazon but you could just get some replacement funnels so you turn it on and then they have different cycles um basically you can go really slow so it's like a or you can go fast like a, so whatever type of suction you like or whatever work best for you then um you know use it that way but it, if it's starting to hurt that means you got it on too fast so just slow it down a little bit i really like the spectra um breast pump because one it got a night light on here you can't really see it but it got a night light on here um it has more cycles and the cycles are numbered so i'm guessing the higher the number the the faster it goes but they also have vacuum the vacuum is like how hard like as far as the pressure so like every baby don't suck the same so they got some that's really light that really don't make the milk come out but then you go up to 12 and it's like mm, mm, and you can hear it making noise let me see this get the job done like it be sucking it be it be sucking the life out of you that's what it be doing so i like this because it has um one two three four five 
six different cycles and 12 different speeds. Um, and also, I feel like setup is not that hard. All you gotta do, like I said, is make sure you put the top on, put the valve in here, and then connect this piece. This is the piece that sucks in and out. So that way it's like giving that suction um, feeling. Uh, and that's really it. I feel like that's easy because it's not too much. But like I said, the only reason I don't like pumping is because it's so much maintenance. You gotta, I mean, I know you gotta clean up when you, you know, feeding the baby formula. But what is this on the TV? Like, I don't understand. It's supposed to be playing music. So, um... Damn, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I ain't mean to itch, but it itch. Shit. Um. Oh, another thing. This bra is the best bra ever. So basically, it just snap and you pull it down. You see how I got the pad? Somebody always calling my phone. Like, I can never do a video without somebody calling. So back to the bra this is good because them other bras you can't lean them down to give the baby the titty like it's just it's too difficult so these are nursing bras the fairy godmother got me these but basically you just um un unhook it and then go from there another thing is oh i didn't even i'm i'm all over the place this is what i be talking about but I'm trying to make sure I tell y'all everything. I don't want to forget nothing. This is the other pump. It's a Lansano pump. And it's smaller. I think it's, it's more convenient as far as like if you need to travel with it and stuff. Because like I said, it's smaller. I didn't use this one at first. I was only using this one at first. And this one is heavier and wider than this one. So you can just throw this in. The, you can throw this in your purse for real. But oh my god, I'm missing a pump. I have a... um. I gotta get y'all one more pump because I gotta show y'all all the pumps. Like, I've been really trying this breastfeeding thing out and I've really been trying different products because you have to. You can't just use one thing. You gotta try different stuff. You gotta see what really works best for you. Oh, okay, so before I start talking about the other pumps, the Bobby. The Bobby is the best, your best friend. Like, it don't feel as bad as it doesn't feel as bad when you're using the boppy because you're not just having the baby hang on your nipples like that's the most uncomfortable feeling then like i said have some pillows pluffed up you know just make sure you have um you know make yourself comfortable based off where you're nursing at because every room is going to be different damn i can't get the shirt on so I ain't do that bad for somebody who don't know how to do your damn hair. Ain't getting Jasmine, but I mean, Jasmine, I try if you watching this. It's still looking a little blowout-ish, but I mean, whatever, I still look good. So, um, the boppy is good because you can position the baby differently. I like to lay Malaysia like this because it's just easier. If she's nursing on this side, we lay on this side. And then also you can do a football hold, however you want to do it, whatever is comfortable for you. But they show you a different, a lot of different holds when you, um, well, positions when you at the hospital. Now back to the pumps. This one, the Lancino one, it's cool. That that was the alarm to pump for Malaysia. So basically, I have um, a some a schedule. It's 12 3 6 9 a.m. p.m. I said that in the other video, but basically I'll either Pump and feed or feed or pump So if I'm pumping and feeding I'll have her on one side pump the other side or I'll use my other best friend This is just a suction cup. So you just fold it back like this and then you squeeze the nipple and then it'll like literally suck all the let down out. You okay, Malaysia? You need to calm down. I'm trying to make a YouTube video. Don't you want to help your friends? They love you, Malaysia. You want to look? You up? You up, mommy? Yeah, you up. Okay, so 
um this i got from toggy i think it's called haka or something some crazy ass name but this work right here i'm gonna show you like i said i'm gonna I'm post all the pictures of like the letdown and all the milk that i ever like pumped even from the beginning when i was just producing the colostrum and how low it was and then one day my breast just got super big and super full and that's when the milk came but this pump is cool because you turn it on is it plugged in you turn it on same thing um you can change the cycle it's only three cycles on this and then they have like a let down part and of course they have the um you know increase and de increase and decrease so but when you increase theirs it doesn't go faster it slows down versus the length uh, versus the spectra the spectra when you make it go higher it goes faster if that don't make sense y'all just gotta try it out because i can't really explain it no better than that but for the most part i like both of these pumps if you're looking for a pump i would suggest the lanceno smart pump or the spectra i don't know what series that is but it's a spectra and got a night light on there or this for when you nursing and you just want the let down to come out so you because you don't want to waste no milk this milk ain't cheap baby okay but the way you set this um pump up is you just same thing you make sure this is where the suction is at and then you attach the tubes and then there you go so now it's connected they the same thing they just shape differently and they have different size bottles so if you pump more they have um larger bottles but right now i'm still using the ones that came with the um, breast pump hi mommy okay and the last thing i have to show y'all is my traveling pump listen i told y'all i was not playing this is the even flow um pump and basically it's literally like a traveling pump like you can throw this in your purse and i throw it in her book bag because um we were going to my mom's house one day so i didn't want to take that big pump with us and don't have no worm i'm trying to find the this one is operated by batteries but you can also charge it up i'm trying to look for the big piece I'm not sure where it went. Oh, it's right here. So, for this one, all you do is you put the um, suction cup in here. The valve is connected to the valve is connected to the funnel, so you don't have to worry about that. So, this is less pieces. This is good too. Like, if you're in the bed and you don't want to plug up the machine, that's one of my issues plugging up the machines. I don't, the cords don't be close enough. I be leaned over like this, my back be hurt, and it just be too much. So, this is really good because it's, it's in your hand. You just hold it in your hand, you snap this like this. Oh, yeah, don't you snap this like this? And then this is operated by batteries so the batteries might be low in this but i'm trying to show y'all that it suck the of course they don't want to work on the youtube videos whatever batteries y'all know y'all got batteries take them out the remote if you don't have them do what you gotta do but this is good because like i said sometimes i be feeling lazy and it's okay to feel lazy nursing is hard like breastfeeding is not easy it's too much going on it's too you seen all this stuff i just pulled out so that's really it that was that's gonna wrap up the video but i just wanted to give my quick review on the different pumps that i have and my nursing um tips and tricks but also when the doctor she went out when we was at the hospital the doctor kept saying don't nurse her with clothes on or anything because they get too comfortable and they use you as a pacifier so if you feel like the baby not getting no milk rub their feet or like um you can remove your nipple by pulling her cheek back and then the nipple pop right out but that's it y'all and if y'all have any more questions y'all can dm me 
or whatever you need to do but i'm here so can you please like and subscribe our video and we'll make more videos for you and say goodbye say bye-bye she's still acting like she hungry like she don't eat that gets on my nerves keep acting like you don't eat say bye-bye lele bye-bye still that bitch will forever be that bitch forever be that bitch <laughs> yeah I I'm the hood, Mona Lisa, break a nigga in the pieces Had to ex some cheesy niggas out my circle like a pizza yeah. I'm way too exclusive, I don't shop on Insta boutiques All them little ass clothes only fit fake booties Bad bitch, still talking cash shit Pussy like water, I'm a mother and relaxing I would never trip on a nigga if I had him Bitch, that's my trash, you the maid, so you bagged him I'm a savage, yeah. classy, bougie, ratchet yeah. Sassy, moody, hey. nasty, hey. yeah Stupid, what was happening? What was happening? Bitch, I'm a savage. Yeah, classy, bougie, ratchet. Yeah, sassy, moody, nasty. Hacking, stupid, what was happening? Bitch, what was happening? Eat me and record it, put your edge up all I'm showing. I keep my niggas private, so it's AP all I'm showing. Beefing with you bitches, really getting kind of boring. If it ain't about the money, then you know I'm gonna ignore it. I'm the shit. I need a mop to clean the floor, it's too much drip, too much drip. I keep a knot, I keep a watch, I keep a whip, Let's play a game, Simon says I'm still that bitch